Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling, and thanks for tuning in to today's video. Much appreciated. And guys, today I'm going to give you some tips and advice, a little tutorial, a little seminar on fishing jerk baits in the summertime, because a lot of people don't think about jerk baits as a summertime lure. Most people think about them as like some type of cold water lure, and they're a 12 month out of the lure, 12 month out of the year lure. So I've got a couple uh, things that I really do in the summertime and catch quite a few fish on it. We're going to go with that here in this today's video. So, real quick, I just want to invite everybody out there, if you're interested in becoming a channel member here on Intuitive Angling, it's a really, really good way to support the channel, and channel members get uh, things like two, two, yeah, two videos a week uh, that aren't seen by the public, and some access to my personal email address, so if you're interested, um, on my YouTube homepage, just go to the little join button there, or go to the about section and click on Intuitive Memberships, and it gives you the info for that, much appreciated. Okay guys, summertime <clears throat> jerk bay fishing. We got a little allergies going on here, maybe coughing a little bit. Guys, it wasn't up until about probably 10 years ago that after about March, people just put their jerk baits up. They pulled them out in December, fished them December, January, February, March, and then they went in their boxes and never came out. And it first started, um, people started catching big smallmouth on them during the summertime. And that's when you're talking about jerk bait fishing in the summer, that's probably the, the best way to catch fish is if you guys are fishing up north, a jerk bait is one of the top lures to catch them up there all summer long. But that's just for the minority of the country. I'm talking about more of the traditional bass waters, sort of in the central to southern part of the country. The jerk bait can be really good. And there's two, really two primary ways that I fish a jerk bait in the summertime. Now, the first thing that you want to look for, guys, is boat docks. Boat docks and <clears throat> all those seat, the, like the, the uh, wave breaks out in front of the marina dock, stuff like that. Any type of floating boat dock is excellent for a jerk bait in the summertime. Um, the water depth doesn't really matter. It can be 100 foot deep under the dock or it could be 5 foot deep. It doesn't really matter. But if you've got a floating dock, whether it be a marina dock or a like a resort dock or a residential dock, in the summertime, um, there's a lot of algae and plankton around the floats on those things, which brings in a lot of bluegill. Now, if you if you notice, guys, if you've ever seen docks, you'll notice a lot of bluegills. Uh, uh, hold on, guys, I got to take one break here. I got something. Sage just got out in the yard. I got to get her. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. But anyway, what I was saying, if you've ever walked along boat docks in the summertime, you'll notice bluegill and perch and everything swimming just right underneath the star foam and right underneath the floats a lot. And that's why those bass are there. That's why they're there all summer long is the bass will cruise under those docks and they'll suspend under those docks really in a variety of depths. Sometimes they'll suspend a foot underneath the dock. Sometimes they'll be 20 foot under the dock depending upon the water clarity. But regardless, um, there's a population of fish that live on the docks. Now, what the, the way that I like to fish them is fishing the corners and edges with the jerk bait. I use the Mega Bass Vision 110. I haven't really found that color makes that big of a difference, but the key is on it is you need to fish it for fairly fast. I use it on eight pound test, Sea Garden Visix line, and my Mega Bass uh, Whip Snake Spinning Rod, which allows me to cast a lot more accurately than a bait caster. And I'll hit the front, I'll parallel the front of it and the sides. Usually in the summertime, guys, the fish are on the front of those docks or on the, they're on the corners of the front more than anything else. So I'll make long casts and come right down the side of those things parallel. And the key is you have to get right against the dock. You need to get guys within just a couple inches of the dock. If you're that far away, those fish will not dart out from underneath that dock to hit it hardly ever. So it's, it's pretty, pretty tricky because a lot of times when you throw those jerk baits up there, they sort of sail through the water like a potato chip. So make sure you cast well past it and you can sort of manipulate or hold your rod and get that bait coming right close to the to the uh, edge of the dock now after i fish the front of it i'll also get go down the sides of the dock and if there's slips you know especially if there's slips with no boats in it i'll take that spinning rod with the jerk bait and i'll make an underhanded pitch into those slips and i'll jerk that jerk bait in those slips and guys, this is a deal in the summertime. I've had days where I've caught over 50 bass in the summer. This is a numbers deal. You don't hardly ever catch any big ones. You can catch some good ones, but most of the time, there's a lot of those, say, you know, 12, uh, oh, one, one to three pound bass. This is a deal for that on the docks. Now, also, if you guys have a docks that have pilings on it, like all you guys that fish uh, Lake, uh, like uh, Lake Norman, uh, you know, all the, you know, the piling type docks, um, 
the piling docks are Gunnersville, TVA Lakes. You can still catch them on the piling docks, but you really got to key in on the shade. So what I'll do is I'll just make, you know, long sidearm casts trying to get underneath the shade of those docks. If the dock top has a quite a bit of distance off the water, it's a lot easier. But if it's low, you, you can break your bill on your jerk bait a lot of times by hitting that dock, so be careful with that. Now, the second way that I like to fish it, guys, is in, and this is one of the ways a lot of people don't realize and have never fished it, is in dirty, shallow water. If you've got an area that in the summer that you're catching them, like uh, fishing dirty water with a square bill crankbait, like water visibility between six, six inches to two feet, Guys, I've caught a lot of fish on a jerk bait in those particular areas, and I like some type of a shad pattern. Mega, Mega Bass makes one called the Ozark Shad. And by the way, guys, I'll put the Bait Works link in the description. They got every color of 110 that you can get, but get you one of those Ozark Shads. Uh, link in the description for the Bait Works links. That is a good way to help the channel, by the way, if you use that link. And put it on a little bit heavier line. I'll put it on, you know, 15 to 20 pound test uh, Seaguar and Vizex line. This is a situation when I, where I will use a bait caster because I'm making short casts and I'm not concerned about getting any depth out of the bait. So I'll put it on 15 to 20 pound test in VizX and I'll cast that jerk bait around any shallow target that I'd be fishing with a square bill. If there's stumps there, I'll just pitch it around that stump and just, and just twitch it just, you know, four or five inches under the surface next to that stump and lay downs, you know, what rocks would ever cover. <clears throat> How I got on this, I was fishing a tournament on Lake Pickwick in first part of September, uh, the years ago. Water was super hot, and I was fishing way back up in this creek where uh, there was a lot of lay down wood in the water. And I had this one little point on there. There was a, probably six or seven stumps that were just under the water, and I'd caught a ton of fish on these stumps there. I mean, I'd, I'd caught probably a dozen bass on a square bill crankbait around those stumps. And every time I'd come back through there, I'd catch one. So I knew there was a lot of fish in there. And I just so happened to have a Mega Bass 110 in my rod locker because I'd been fishing some uh, bridge pilings out on the main lake with them. And I pulled that thing out and I started casting it. And I said, man, they're not gonna hit this thing. It, it, the water visibility was like that. The first cast I made next to the stump, I caught a five pounder on it, guys. And that's what clued me in on fishing the shallow water jerk bait in the dirty water. But um, like I said, guys, it's a, uh, don't put them down in the summertime. Jerk baits will catch fish 12 months out of the year. It's not just limited to, you know, fishing smallmouth up north, although that is a good deal. But just try the boat dock deal that I was telling you about. Try the shallow wood and also bridge pilings, guys. In the summertime of the year, I catch a ton of fish off of bridge pilings. It's one of the best ways to fish a jerk bait um, when that water's hot. And biggest advice as far as i could give you on retrieve guys is you, you don't need to pause it in the summer just throw it out there and just just jerk 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 and you may just just hesitate just like that just like a, a second hesitation but usually i'm throwing it out there i'm going jerk 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 trying to get that thing moving pretty quick so just like i said you can experiment with colors that uh, ozark shad's been one of my favorite in one of my favorite colors in the dirty water out there on the boat docks, it's totally dependent upon the water clarity because sometimes I'm fishing dirty water, sometimes I'm fishing cleaner water, so you just have to mix it up to the conditions. But give it a try, guys. It'll get you a lot of bites in the summer. We'll talk later.